for cheap and reliable coins, check out FIFACoinsale.com. Use the discount code DM for 5% off. And if you want to open really cool packs, check out FIFALuck.com. Use the discount code EMP. Like the grenade. All right, guys. I will also show you how the FIFALuck.com works. I haven't had time to get around to doing that video. I will show it to you very soon. It's really cool and very legit, of course. That's the first question that comes into people's mind, as well as my coin sellers. 100% guaranteed legit. Here we go. Striker. Aguero in form and Diego Costa. These guys are still really expensive because they might get an upgrade. It's the only logical explanation as I can, can't think of any other reason why they're going so high up. Although majority of the players are going up. Same with Sanchez. Aguero cost me 4.5 mil. Diego Costa cost me 1.9 or something mil. Sanchez I bought for a cheap price but he goes for 2 mil. Made a good profit on him. A hefty profit. Team of the Di Maria will be in center mid. He was great. Rooney, for a centre mid, guys, you have to keep your eye on him in this squad builder. One of the best players I've used for in the Premier League for on FIFA. Centre defensive mid, Yaya Toure. You know, he's still not the best player as I'd like him to be. On the last FIFA, I hated him. This FIFA, defensively, the anchor, he was great. Still that part of him in real life where he just pushes and strides up that field like a dominant force that he is. You don't see that side of him anymore on FIFA, at least. I don't really see him. I don't mean anymore in real life. I'm talking about in the game. He just... I like to use him in real life like you know his free kicks on the same and uh like on fifa like most players are like that on fifa but i just didn't i don't think you can utilize him the best way possible on an offensive side but defensively he's great baines takes my free kicks and penalties he's wonderful um jagielka does his part because there weren't many expensive players that were in the center back role so i went for the informed version <clears throat> and he's great he does his part you know i have to give him credit uh company needs no introduction solid center back cliche was left back, uh, is a left back, but I put in right back because there weren't many expensive players. So just in case you guys are like, nah, put a right back in there. I could have put Zabaleta. So instead I put Walker in just for the sake of it. And uh, although Clichy gets most of the game time, just so you know. Goalkeeper, we're going to have to go with Man of the Match Courtois. One of the best keepers till now. Unbelievable player. Still no one comes close to him. And there's the bench. If you want to uh, take a look at it, everyone gets a nice little runaround. Just about everyone gets a nice little runaround. So yeah. This team was really, really fun to use. And you're going to get to see everyone in action. Probably not as much as you'd like, but still. Uh, that? No, say, now that's a good team. That, that now is the, uh, the good team. Yeah! <laughs> so here we go. Let's get straight into the in-game footage as I was teaching Hammy to say some stuff for the video. Poor guy was a bit confused. So yeah, as I was saying, I don't think anyone comes close to Man of the Match Courtois besides... Uh, Peter Schmeichel. We're going to have to see how he is, and I think he's going to be great. But Courtois is still by far one of my favorite keepers, man of the match version. He is just really, really great, especially in one-on-ones. And I did a review on him. Check this from Wayne Rooney. Look at that pass. You know, even though I play him in the center mid, he, he did so well. I think in six or seven games, he bagged himself four goals and three assists. That's fantastic for a center mid. And he, when he goes back, he does his job extremely well. Tackles everyone, you know... Delivers the pass, controls the flow and the tempo of the game. It's great. Now, if I had to choose top five players, and not in order though, besides Wayne Rooney has to be the best player of the squad builder so far for this most expensive Premier League team. Second, not going in order from now, Wayne Rooney is the best of this uh, squad builder, the most perf well performed player. But then, you know, just in general, I have to say, Inform Aguero. I don't think I need to talk to you about him looking at his stats, right? Great finishing and pacey. I'd have to say company as well. He is just great. Solid centre-back. Great in the air offensively, defensively. Not the best of pace, but he will shock you when he needs to put that pace on. He's great. Sanchez has not made it into my top five because he's extremely weak. Although that finish was really nice in off the post as well. I still don't think he makes it in to the top five. And I'd have to say, here comes a shock to most of you. It is man of the match Ericsson. He was brilliant. Even though he came on as a cameo role, being a substitute, he was a super sub. He changed the game a lot of the times. He was fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I wanted to choose Clichy as well. But since I kept him in a right back position, his chemistry wasn't the best. Even though he was... He did his job way better than Baines at times, you know? Even though Baines... You know, when I put Baines in as well, not only because he's expensive, he takes penalties extremely well and free kicks. Look at the score of that game, 5-1. He was fantastic. He played really well. Same with Clichy. Trust me, putting him in as a right back, you won't be surprised. He'll be brilliant. I'd have to say Elia as well. Could make it into my top five. It's really difficult to choose. Even Yahya Toure. Yahya Toure. He was brilliant. It was so difficult to choose. But I had to say, those players I mentioned, if you want to make it a top seven or top eight, those guys really need consideration because they were brilliant. 
I didn't like Costa, you know, he was really sluggish for me. Maybe because I have a full informed team almost besides Yaya Toure, maybe that's why, I'm not sure. Check this out from Wayne Rooney, outside the foot, man. He is so good, I don't even want to sell him, I love him. I literally fancy him, he is beautiful. Uh, no, I'm joking, but he's brilliant, absolutely fun to use. Di Maria, he's, he's, he was great in most of my other videos, but he just did not do justice for me and this probably felt a bit nervous with all the competition, although it's not the case in real life, to be honest. Really, really enjoyed making this team. Don't know if I can really say whether you guys want to make a team like this, if you can afford it. It was fun, but you can change a few things around, like Jagielka, for example. Maybe you don't like Sanchez because he's weak. I don't know, but uh, fun team. I love making these most expensive. This part of my series, really fun. And also, guys, if we can smash a thousand likes for this squad builder, I will then move on to doing another most expensive, probably a Real Madrid team, most expensive, with legends, for example, Roberto Carlos and Fernando Hierro. They played a big role in Real Madrid's dominant time uh, there are many other players even Haji was at Madrid there are many legends but Carlos and Hero will be there for sure also I've started a new series as well by the way look at this Elia he comes on as a substitute equalizes and also look what he does here he was brilliant I really enjoyed using him. if you can afford him he's also going for 65k you should get him so basically as I was saying about that new series it's called FIFA in real life I started it at the start of FIFA 14 but never got around to completing it a lot of people liked it so it's basically some of my in real life football clips uh, uh, with friends and I noticed some of my uh, FIFA clips are almost identical to that. So basically, I'll score like a free kick in FIFA, and then I'll, I'll find some clips that look like that free kick similar and put them into uh, a video, and it looks so cool. So if we can smash a 1,000 likes, that'll be fantastic. And stay tuned for the next video.